Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your Java series. Specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about how to easily print arrays. Now, when you learn this, you're probably gonna be researching for loops and all that junk, but I'm gonna be teaching you a super even easier way. <laughs> so if you just need to get the value of an array, check it, it's gonna be easy. But first, you gotta check out our sponsor. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so check this out. If you try to print this array, you just throw grades in here, watch what happens. What, what, what is this mumbo jumbo? That's not what I wanted. I wanted this information. Well, it's actually really easy to do that. All you have to do is use this code right here. Arrays dot two string, and then in parentheses, oh, not deep two string, just two string right there and then in parentheses you're going to put the array name so we will put grades awesome now check this out run this and we get the value of our array so that is how you do it now another useful method actually popped up earlier deep to string but when we run this watch what happens uh, nothing we get an error that's because deep to string is actually for arrays of arrays so check this out I'll show you guys real quickly how to do that if you add another square brackets to the data type over here, we can actually make some of these arrays themselves. So here's an array, and here's an array. Now, when we output this, we get the array of arrays. So we have one array here, and we have one array here. If you just did the two string, watch what happens. Run this, again, we just get this stuff right 